Tamba. Mr. Tamba, you are welcome to give us a report of the school progress. Welcome, Mr. Tamba. Hey, let us give him a big round of applause. This is your first physical one, huh? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Your Worship, the Lord Mayor, um, Kanifim Municipal Council, Mr. Talib Ahmed Pensuda, um, Honorable Jame, Parliamentary Member for Bundung. World councillors here present, officials from the Ministry of Education, Basic and Second Education, officials from the regional office, parents, staff, and students of Charles Jam Memorial Academy. I welcome you all and greet you. And I hope you have a wonderful day and may God see us through these proceedings. Um, I stand here in place of my boss, um, Madam Sukai Seka Sanyan, who is unavoidably absent um, because she has been called by, it's an opportunity anyway, and we say it is those that Allah calls that visit this holy house. And Madam Sukai Seka Sanyan happens to fall among those that God has called this year to visit the holy city of Mecca and we are expecting her and hope she comes back in one piece and find us in one piece. And may Allah accept the Hajj and all other prayers. Allow me, Mr. Chairman, to read this statement on her behalf. For this graduation 2022. Mr. Chairman, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride and profound gratitude that I stand here as principal of this great and noble institution to deliver a formal speech at the sixth graduation. Today marks another important milestone in the annals of this great institution called Charles Jow Memorial Academy. It is a day in which we take stock of our cumulative effort, our successes, and our challenges Boy. as an institution. Mr. Chairman, the theme for this year's graduation is never too young to leave. However, I intend to leave the significance of the theme in the expert hands of our dynamic guest speaker, Miss Our Guy, for proper discuss. This year's graduation is another unique one, unique in the sense that this is the badge of students that bore the most experience during the COVID pandemic. An experience that had great negative consequences on the teaching and learning of these batch of students throughout the three years that they stayed with us. And they have borne the frustrations of the pandemic with great courage. This makes the class of 2022 very special. Each one of us has persevered in the face of adversity and sacrifice in ways in which we never could have considered prior to the pandemic. 
whilst it is undoubtedly true that we have collectively had our share of struggles, I would like to use this space to shine the light on some of what our admin my administration has achieved together with the graduating class of 2022. During the period under review, Charles Jam Memorial Academy continues to consolidate its gains as a school of excellence in both academic and sporting disciplines. As a result of this outstanding performance, Coupled with its strategic location, the demand on admission has always increased over the years. Similarly, at the senior school section, the introduction of commerce training four years ago has ushered in an era of increased annual enrollment in the 10th grade. To the extent that additional commerce three class was introduced this academic year. Meaning, all other streams, the science, there are two classes of science, two classes of arts, but we decided to open a third class for commerce because of the demand for admission in Charles Jow Memorial Academy. In terms of performance, our academic output has become even more impressive at both the junior secondary school and the senior secondary school. There has been a great improvement in the Gabeke and WAS examination results. Last year, for instance, 21 students had 9 credits as opposed to 17 students the previous year. 29 students got 8 credits as opposed to 8 credit, um, as opposed to 14 the previous year, and 33 students got 7 credits as opposed to 17 the previous year. Additionally, students obtaining direct university entrance credit requirements have increased from 50 in 2020 to 56%, from 50% 50 in 2020 to 56% in 2021. While at Gabeke, 21 students have single digit aggregate in 2021 compared to 15 in 2020. Also, the school had participated in a maiden nationwide drama competition organized by a party academy on the theme Social and Economic Implications of Illegal Migration. And the school's drama team had won the competition with an impressive performance. The same drama team also took part in another drama competition organized by Learn to Teach, a non-profit organization. And the school came out first position after an outstanding performance. The drama team came out as runner-up after taking part in a debate organized the debate team came out as one of after taking part in a debate organized by the American corner along the Kairaba Avenue the school clubs participated in several other debate drama and other competitions and put up splendid performance that earned us appreciable outcomes in addition our sports teams have started breaking ground in the areas of football, volleyball, basketball, and athletics. Of these, the athletic team is more prominent. During the last National Interschools Athletic Championship, we attained second position out of the many competing schools throughout the country, winning several gold silver and bronze medal. The football team also played wonderful games but lost narrowly at the quarterfinal stage. This year, the school football team have won all its games 
the boys and the girls won two games out of the three games played so far. Mr. Chairman, Charles Jell Memorial Academy has gone digital. Students' assessment scores and reports are now uploaded and generated through our online school management system. The system is interactive and user-friendly. Parents can access their children's results anywhere they are in the world, so long as they have access to internet facility. We are also pleased to report that the administration has now introduced a digital system of plugging in and out where all staff of the school signs to register attendance. Towards this end, we owe a million thanks to the Parents Association for their magnanimous contributions in the purchase of this device. We register our profound gratitude to Mr. Soleim and Joe and ex people for the donation of some laptops um, that truly enhance administrative work in the school. Furthermore, PTA, the Parent Teacher Association, have been very vibrant in supporting our drive to improve teaching and learning, especially during the height of COVID-19 through the provision of face mask, hand washing, um, uh, sanitizers, and also when the SIG is late to come, PTA are always at our aid to provide us the necessary stationery that will help in the teaching and learning. For example, chalk, for example, paper during examination time. If the SIG is late to arrive, the PTA are always at our, at our aid to help provide this stationery for teaching, learning, and printing purposes. Canopy Municipal Council continues to support the school as its baby through the provision of quarterly subvention to facilitate the payment of staff salaries and allowances. The Education Select Committee has been the backbone of our support with Council and has become more proactive in ensuring the success of the school. We thank the Lord Mayor and his team for being more responsive to the needs of the school. We also acknowledge with thanks, council support in the fight against COVID-19, a situation that has really interrupted the teaching and learning. But with council's intervention, the school was able to go on with the teaching and learning of pupils with less, less teachers. Again, thanks to the commitment of Honorable Musa Baji, former councillor and education select committee chairman, now parliamentarian, for always putting forward our needs. As an administration, we dedicate the success of our gains in our improved relationship with KMC and MOPSI to the commitment of the Board of Governors. What we have mentioned is the magnanimous contributions of Honorable Karamo Sise, Talim Nisab councillor, who has always been there for the school, for his continued benevolence and support. Over the period, Honorable Sisi has donated school and office furniture, COVID-19 materials, sports materials, assorted clothing for use by both staff and students. Mr. Karamo Sisi provided or don uh, donated um, tools for the industrial arts, like the woodwork and the metalwork, as well as the clothing and textile area of the Home Economics Department. Mr. Karamo Sisi also availed us the opportunity to use the centre to host our athletics team during the National School Champion Championship. However, despite the, the, the gains highlighted above and cognizant of the fact that Negotiations are at advanced stage, if not complete. The school has been and still battling with several challenges that directly affect us. And teaching that this includes, 
but not limited to one. As a result of increased enrollment at both JSS, junior secondary and senior secondary level, accommodation has become a challenge for the school management. The assembly hall or the assembly chair, the, the vice board chair mentioned here that he had a little interaction with the, with the, with the, with the Lord Mayor and he was shown a very bright, very nice plan of the school hall that is intended to be built here. And we are eagerly awaiting the completion of this project so that during examination period, we can have enough accommodation and sitting space for our students. The transformation of the, the, transformation of the NAREC conventional meter to cast power is another challenge. At the genius school section, the unavailability of adequate core textbooks. And this, the school has written to the curriculum unit at the Regional Education Directorate 1, and uh, we have been making follow-ups, but still now the books have still not been supplied. But we will not relent, we will continue to be on the hills to, make, to ensure that these adequate teaching materials are acquired. The school no longer has space to conduct extra moral tasks for students from Monday to Saturday. The said classes generally cater for our shortcomings for syllabus coverage, which otherwise would not be possible using the available contact hours. To the graduating class of 2022, I can only begin with congratulations. To accomplish one of the major early milestones in one's life is to achieve senior secondary certificate. This is a major step in the academic journey of one's life. One that somebody should recognize for its immense significance. It is an act of, it is an act not only of personal commitment, but also of pride. You worked hard to get to this day. Your work did not go away. A senior school certificate is a wonderful tool in, which, in this world. One that opens many doors of opportunity for anyone lucky enough to have one. This graduation has already shown you how capable you are of accomplishing your goals when you commit yourself to it. I hope all of you here today can take this personal accomplishment as an example of anything if anything is truly sorry um, madam so I have to cut my speech short in closing and most importantly please reflect on your achievement graduates celebrate with your friends celebrate with your families celebrate with your loved ones who have supported you in diverse ways thank them for their value support and sacrifices which are an integral part of your studies and make them even more proud of you as you develop your careers and help to make a difference in the world long live charles Jow memorial academy long live academic excellence for better life, for better future, for the new generation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Tamma. Thank you. Thank you, KMC. Thank you, Kazia Memorial Academy. One, 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 one. Thank you, Mr. Tamba. Those are indeed great achievements. And I know there is more on the pipeline. Next, I would like to call on the full protectorial council for a bit of an entertainment. Protectorial council, 
Mind you, you have your side mates. We are running out of time. Prefect Council. The floor is yours. The Prefect Council. The Prefect Council, the floor is yours. All right. Let us all come back and relax. Don't I have the rights to express myself? No. Why dare you talk to me like that? No. Then I'm going to talk to you about this. Say, I'm going to talk to you about this. 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 Ni 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 your Highness, people are fighting in your kingdom because of tribalism, Your Highness. Your Highness, see for yourself. Wajola! Wajola! Why is it that you plus everything? Can I talk? Can I talk? We are tired of can I talk? Sometimes I think can you play over there? Can I talk? Can I talk? We are tired of can I talk? 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 There are a lot of things happening in your kingdom, Your Highness. And I am afraid. Your Highness, this can bring destruction in your kingdom. Your Highness, as I told you all, this is not the end of the storm. Your Highness, people are fighting with their friends because of common clothes. Your Highness, people are stealing from their friends 
killing in each other in your kingdom be your highness. Still now, see for yourself. Oh my goodness. 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 Oh my Oh my Oh my goodness. 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 Oh my all of this are happening in my kingdom, and I don't know anything about it. All of this are happening in my body. People are disrespecting in my own kingdom. People are fighting in my own kingdom. Tribalism is still existing in my kingdom, and my friends are still stealing from their friends. This is disgusting. No more. When the head of man has passed away, when the hard drumming guns and bombs are cast away, when tyrants fall and dictators die, then we shall go home. Beyond the silent hills and gang of deeds, beyond the western seas, the white, white, man, white man came to capture, to torture the warrior, on name, on tame, the son of Kinte. We shall go home beyond the western seas where the wisdom was received. The miracle conceived and the knowledge revealed. The Adam, the Moses, the Jesus, and the Alamins. We shall go home. When good men returns, when heroes are born, when dead mothers are resurrected in the name of freedom, in the name of liberty, in the name of emancipation, the Malcolm, the Martin, the Lumas, the Kwame Kurumas, for we shall go home at the end of this poem, where this poem was written, spoken, unbroken, to break the chance, the circles, the manacles, to conquer, the fierce and wipe the broken tears, to purify, to sanctify, to unify the heart, to educate, instigate and liberate the minds of the longest sleep, the children of God. For we shall go home to be one Gambia, one people, one nation, and make a better nation. So I thank you. But my brother, you know what? It is time for us to drop the guns and stop the fight. Dream so high, let the light sail so bright, then we will smile and we will unite. And for the tribalism, let us know that God made no differ in our differences. Instead, He civilized us into tribes so as to realize our connections as human. The peace is the solution to every problem. I am a Gambian, you are Gambian. I am a human, then you are human. It doesn't matter what your background is. All I know is that I love you. If you hurt me, I have forgiven you. If you have any, I have forgiven you. Come and shake my hand, come and hug me, come and smile.
kunding matan minija, do kunding mangkutan minija. Ayah lo nak tapi tapi nak kuputa ja. So even though you all are happy, you need to remember that you have to try more than you've ever done before. Yeah, this time is the moment of crossing one of the milestones of your path. So you all are allowed to laugh out loud and celebrate your life's new journey. We wish you all the best in life. Lifelong happiness, dreams come true, achievements, success, fulfillment, and contentment. New stimulating friendships where you cherish all friends who will provide continuity and comfort. We wish you a smooth path on your journey to your own chosen destination. I want to lie in your own road adventures as there is in reaching your goals. Things might always go as planned. Life is not always what it seems. But if you take determination, courage, patience, and courage, it will take you a long way. Wow. Do you really have to say goodbye? Because we have been so used to having our big brothers and sisters around. Do you believe in our hearts we hope someday we cross paths? Till then, farewell. Good morning, good day to all graduates. Uh, my name is Aloma, I'm a girl of the school, and I want to just share a piece of advice with you all. And it goes, it has been three years of toil, persistence, and hard work. A lot of milestones which you've turned into legacies. You all have left your own unique footprint in this very school, CJMA. And for that, you will be remembered as the sixth cohort of this noble school. Today, you are going to be graduates, survivors, winners, and us in the bigger world. A representation of what you've learned, where you've been, and how you did it. Allah Bataaba, Allah Sino Balia, Allah Karanjama, Bila Jalaluma. Today, all your parents are here, sitting down, and they are all happy and proud of the children they, got, they gave back and you all are sitting in your beautiful gowns and caps with beautiful smiles on your faces. Aren't you all proud? Proud that you never relented? Proud that you never gave up? Proud that you fought and finally all the struggles don't matter anymore? Today, you are the captain of your very own ship. And even though the weather may be unpredictable, sometimes it may be sunny, sometimes it may be rainy, and sometimes it may be smooth. But during those times, during those challenges, remember everything that you've learned. You may have to battle with challenging seas, even storms that show you what you are truly made of. Finally, I'll say farewell. The memories we've made together we will always appreciate. The trust you have on us, we will always maintain. And we shall do better and make you all happier, prouder, and way more fulfilled. You have left footprints in this school, and we will make sure to make you way proud. Congratulations, graduate. Be thank and ultimate. Say, Darabule Nami. Today, let nothing take away your happiness. Free your mind and be happy. Thank you, parents, for everything that you've done for us. Thank you to our teachers, and thank you, everybody. Once again, congratulations. May the Lord embrace you. Excited and celebrated. Finally, farewell, Alice. Thank you. The Memorial Academy. I believe we are all educated. Ladies and gentlemen, may we please rise to welcome. Your Lordship, the Mayor of KMP, Honorable Ahmed Tariq Ahmed. You may have your seats. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good afternoon to you all. 
Gambia, <laughs> I'm also going to acknowledge the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, Honorable Member of Parliament, Honorable Suleiman Jame Obundum Kapunda, Honorable Member of Parliament, Yaya Sanyang of Latrebunda Sabiji, Chairperson of KMC's Education Standing Committee, Council of Bine Marong, the Alcaro of Bundum, Imam of Bundum, and pastor here present, the chairperson of the Parent Teacher Association, Sumayai, and the Merisol, the PTA of Charles Jow, the vice chair of the chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Sanya, and the Board of Governors of Charles Jow, vice principal, Mr. Tamba. Head teachers, tutors of Charles Jow, distinguished graduates. Assalamu alaikum and good morning to you all. Once again, we converge to celebrate the graduation of the Caliphate Municipality's brightest peoples. At KMC, we have immense pride to be associated with Charles Jow. We receive calls from all over the country, from Katong to Kwaina, of parents and relatives of students who wish to be here at Charles Jow. I think from the sheer number of calls received, we know Charles Jow is the best school in the Gambia. It is it is a special school that outperforms most and if, what, or if not all public schools in the Gambia and that is because it houses special students who are eager to learn. These special students also come from special parents because if not for your interest in your child's education, they will not do well. These special parents give the support to these students, and this is why they are so outstanding. But these special students are also taught by special teachers who care and make sure that the students get the best education. These special teachers are led by a special principal who loves her school. We cannot also leave out the special board of governors who oversee the school and of course who are supported by a special Caliphate Municipal Council led by a special mayor, Khalif Ahmed Ben Sula. The bottom line is all stakeholders affiliated with this school care about it and because of their unrelenting sense of belonging and ownership. This is why area councils across the country have been advocating for decentralization of government so councils can run more schools because we directly represent communities who are the beneficiaries of these very schools. But for now, Charles Jow is our only child and therefore we will continue to spoil her and dedicate our undivided attention and give our unequivocal support 
to the school. Therefore, I would like to take a quick snapshot of KMC's support over the years and what KMC plans to do for Charles Jow in the coming years. Over the past four years, KMC has been giving Charles Jow $2.4 million annually as subvention. As of 2022, I have taken a personal commitment that KMC will reward the best student in commerce, the best student in science, and the best student in the art stream with an amount of $50,000 each scholarship. We have started this year and we intend to continue year in, year out. We have all also been visited by the Young Female Farmers Association who are teaching vegetable farming here in Charles Jow. We have granted them with support of $100,000 and they intend to fence the garden with a chain link fence and we intend to support them in that initiative. A few months ago I visited your teachers at their meeting room and we promise to furnish them with some of KMC's furniture, including 20 director's chairs and four board tables. And I'm glad to announce, as of last week, we have delivered on our promise. Also, we have just finalized the plans and we will commence to tender an assembly and examination hall that will sit 1,136 students. Clap one! Clap one! Clap one! Clap two! Triple clap! Beautiful! <laughs> the examination as an assembly hall will cost KMC $10 million. And starting next month, we will go on tender so we can come back and lay the foundation stone. Also, we have plans to build a municipal library inside KMC. At first, we wanted to build it here in Charles Chow, but we are made to understand that your Board of Governors, with support from the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, have secured funds from MRC Holland to build several classroom blocks. Therefore, this library will be built inside KMC and it will be of the tune of $32 million. Next month, we will lay the foundation stone. But remember, KMC only has one school, which is Charles Jow. So your share in the library will be the most. Due to the plans of MRC Holland to build the classroom blocks inside Charles Jow, KMC has agreed to add more public land for Charles Jow to make this project a success. Charles Jow was already a special school. Without all these developments, Charles Jow was already the best. But after all these developments, even I, the mayor of KMC, I am very tempted to come back to school and be a student of Charles Jow. <laughs> Graduates, I encourage you to keep your standards always high and I challenge you to always strive for greatness. We have no doubt that someday you will lead this country and we will be answerable to you. You are sincerely your brother, your uncle, and your future potential classmates, Talib Ahmed Ben Suda, I thank you all for your kind attention. I want to direct you to the new day. I want to direct you to the new day. I want to direct you to the new day. I want to direct you to the new day. I want to direct you to the new day. I want to direct you to the new day. I want to direct you to the new day. Parliament, Terian Kogundung, Honorable Yaya Sanya, 
alimentarian pelatih bundar sabi. Mari niu alkalu bundung imambi atau sabi. Di niu siapa sih operan tija asosiasun semaya anti meriso. Mari niu dalam semua hari semua anti mara pemijara. Di niu chairman of the board of governors, Mr Sanyang. Di niu board member si Charles Jao. Di niu vice principal Mr Kamba. Di niu dalam teachers asli distinguish graduates. Purga kalau bah berak dalam nonwa ne KMC ni am plan ni beri kur Charles Jao. Si adu romba KMC jom dengan Charles Jao. 2.4 million dollars in Arbunega for support and operations. But I promise that in every year, student budget force commerce, student budget force science, and student budget force arts be that in support at 50,000 dollars. Conferency, we will do one in support and halay for new company budget force. We are working with KMC for the Kusampa Assembly and Examination Hall. Buat orang ten million dollar sih dia diri cari jauh. Lepas ni next month insya Allah naik dia pun dia susun. KMC dah minyak sampai library. Muka angin hari cari jauh juga apa wala. Library ni dapat orang buat tadi dua million dollar sih. Lepas ni juga sampai diri KMC. Kon diri sana diri kerem lek di mana kon tak najisian. So di sini sen hari am fira, sen hari diskoli yang KMC yang entah. Mengingat di sana dengan kerap dia wajib dia. Assalamualaikum. Jom ada kami akan melakukan pelukar jadi. Lord Mayor Ahmad Ali Ben Suya, ada orang semua moye. Kami akan kerja kau tu, kami akan kusura kau tu. Kusura ni yang akan kasih pahala. Ini ni yang menjadi yang akan kerja kau yang nanti. Maka yang ini yang akan kasih pahala. Kau yang ni ok ya? Kau tu bukan mentera, siapa kau mentera? Ini bukan mentera. Kau tak faham? Kau tak faham kau tu? 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 Are we happy with the Lord Mayor? Yeah! Atama! Atama! I'm not here yet. Atama! 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 Nobody go! Nobody go! Nobody go! Nobody go! Atende! Anda, 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 anda! Yes! Thank you, Lord Mayor. We want to invite the Lord Mayor to come and visit the model. This was done as a practical for students from GTMI that came here, studied the school, and designed a model of Charles Jao Memorial Academy. So we wish to invite the high table to come and study the model. It was done as practical. They were sent here on practical experience. And after their experience, they were asked to Design Charles Dell Memorial Academy as they see it. It was officially presented to us. Yeah, it's going to be there. But now it's all this other for the respective of it. Yes, sir. It was officially handed over to us during our handing over ceremony uh, three weeks ago, and we wish to officially present it to your Lord, Lordship, the Lord Mayor. From the design, this is the entrance of the school. We have the most player and the senior school. We have the stores, the library, and the science lab. The admin building, the kids, and nice for students. Then we have the technical block, the school field inside. Then we have the home economics out there. The school quarter down there. The school canteen and the vendor shed. That's what they have designed for us. And this we are struggling to answer the most down. And as you see, we are seeing a very beautiful road that we hope the mayor, but we know the mayor has it in plan already. <laughs> and we have seen this very beautiful basketball lawn that is initially here that we are moving on that side. The flagpole, we can see the Gambia flag and the Charles Yao flag, and we are still hoping that there will be one more flag that will join them. Because 
it shows the identity. KMC is the owner of the school. And wherever people go, they need to see and know that this institution belongs to KMC. So you feel it is also important. It will, it will be added, I know. The mayor is a man of action. He's a man of few words and a man of action. The garden is what we have behind there. Unfortunately, we are far from electricity. Uh, there is gas that we need, and then it will light up the place. And you can see this beautiful lighting, if we have them around Charles Yao, I wish to acknowledge the presence of uh, Honorable Suleiman Jamet. <laughs> that we know is also very alive in this, and we know he is going to do something about it. <laughs> so we wish to officially present it to your Lordship. Why?